morning internet it is 9.02 in the morning and welcome back to the channel so i'm now waiting for uh, peter to uh, pick me up and then we're gonna go for uh, another ride today i'm not sure where to but uh, i'm sure it's gonna be nice uh, to give you a small update on basanti she did leave kuala lumpur but her plane is not direct so she is now waiting for the connecting flight to muscat which will be tomorrow she arrived tomorrow late, hopefully, here in Muscat. Uh, in Oman it's weekends on Fridays and Saturdays. So that means that when she arrives here late in the evening, then the next two days are weekends. So then the custom officers, uh, they won't be working. So I, I cannot get her uh, cleared. So on the earliest, uh, on Sunday, hopefully, I can get the custom clearance. And then I'm really hoping that on Monday, uh, yeah, I'll have my bike back and I won't have to ride on uh, somebody else's bike anymore. So uh, I really hope it's gonna go smooth from now and I'll be able to uh, ride my own bike very soon. But anyway, uh, for now I'll be riding uh, the 450 CCM again. And quite a few people have, have asked me uh, how does the CCM compare to the Himalaya and then can you do a review on the CCM. I mean, I'm not gonna do a whole bike review on the CCM because I only rode it a couple of times. So I. I don't feel comfortable doing that on a bike that I don't know so well. But the only thing that I can say is that if you just look at the numbers uh, and compare the CCM to the Himalayan, then the CCM roughly has almost double the power and half the weight. So you can imagine that it is super easy to ride up, for example, like steep hills, like it has more power and, um, and very low weight. So it's very easy to go up steep slopes, go down steep slopes and just that yeah it really has that little bit of power that i'm missing on the himalaya so that's really awesome so it's a really really nice bike to ride i really like riding it i wouldn't train for my himalaya though but uh, for now for uh, riding off-road here in amman it's super good to ride so uh, yeah i look forward to another day of riding in ccf We are on the move. We are in the car and we're gonna ride to the Selma. Selma Plateau. Selma Plateau. Uh, how long a drive is it? Uh, an hour and a half. Okay, an hour and a half in the car. And then we're gonna ride around there. And uh, it looks like really nice weather. It's actually really clear today. Okay. Not a lot of dust uh, at the moment, so. Nice. So, hairpins. Yes. Tight ones. So, 
going to do a lot of these and it might be a little bumpier on both sides. Okay. okay. Generally always try to keep to the outside. Yeah. Generally it's bumpier on the inside because of the, the way the truck wheels work. Okay. Um, we're going to do it pretty much all of it in first gear. Okay. Because it's, it's just lots of it. Okay. okay. We'll take it nice and easy. And the technique I want you to use, rather than standing, is just have that inside leg. Yeah. You can have both legs on the floor if you wish. Okay. But make sure you got that inside leg. Yeah. And you're just going to walk the bike round. Okay. So lots of clutch. Yeah. Lots of revs. I'll watch you come up and we'll see how you get on. Okay. Okay. You remember yesterday technique for if you stall on a hill? <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, so we're on a slight hill now. Yeah. So. If you stall, you're going to be in gear anyway. Yeah. You're going to leave it in gear. Yeah. Put your foot on the back brake, solid. Yeah. Okay. Then you can start the bike again. And then you let the clutch out. With yeah. The back brake still on. Okay. And then once the bike starts to. Oh, gear, yeah. You let yeah. go of the back brake, okay? I remember now. Like a hill start <laughs> on a car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, with a handbrake. Okay. Same, yeah. same idea, all right? Okay. The bike, the, you will lose a bit of traction on the back. Okay, the back end will slip out a bit. It's fine, it'll come back down and you'll carry on, okay? Okay. And if you're getting uncomfortable, just put both feet down, okay? Okay. You're just gonna take it nice and easy. You're gonna do great, I promise. <laughs> I've seen you right, you're getting good. I'll do my best. Yeah. Yeah. Halfway up the plateau. Okay. Are we gonna go all the way up there? Yep. Awesome. Okay, let's go.
So we now reach the top of the Sarma plateau and this view is just stunning. So we came on that road and then oh, you can't see the road up but it was a really long road up and yeah, I, I don't think before riding here in Oman and doing all these uh, exercises, I don't think I would have been able to get up the hill. I stalled it one time, but okay, that uh, that happens. I'm glad I didn't drop the bike, but uh, amazing to ride and it's just so beautiful here. So yeah, this day is another big success for me. I'm really enjoying this ride. And uh, so this is it for today. Uh, the next part of the video will be getting down the plateau. I think that will be challenging as well. Although we will be taking a different route, so that is not as steep and as difficult to go down because I think riding down this road is, is harder than uh, getting up. So in the next video, you'll see the rest of today's riding. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and stay tuned for the next video. Mm -hmm.